Your website's homepage has been built using wireframe technology, which allows you to edit the content in different areas very quickly. The one thing to remember, every section that can be edited has one of these edit buttons. To begin, we will click on the edit button for the navigation. This gives you the option to change the navigation action to no drop down, click or hover. You also have the ability to enable flowers, GIFs, and the obituary link on that main navigation. You can click off any of those at any time. As you will see below here, this name, Obituaries, is the default. If you want to call the label something different, you would type it in here and then click on Save Navigation. To change images in your slider, you click on Edit. You can add a slide at any time. You can edit the slider options. The transition is slide or you could do a fade transition. You could also change the slide duration. Once you've made your changes, you click on save and done. On the current services section, you click on edit. This allows you to change the text where it says current services and the obituary notification. Obituary notification, current services. If you want to call those anything else, just type them in here and save navigation. As you scroll down the page, you will see even more options for your home page. The welcome message, click on edit. You can change the title within that welcome message as well as the content. Within that content, you have the ability to bold, italicize, or erase the formatting. You can also add a bullet list and you can create a link from any of that text. You can browse to a new photo on your computer to upload it into this area. Once you've made changes to your welcome message, click on Save Welcome Message. For the news and events, click on Edit. You can edit any of the news and events that are currently in there or add a new news event. Add your title and your message and whether it will be active or visible on the page. You would click on Save and then Done. Locations and Directions. This page pulls information from your site profile. You can edit to change that sentence where it says currently we provide our families with. You can add whatever text you would like there and then click on Save. Testimonials. Click on Edit. The current testimonial on that page is visible here. You can edit, unpublish, or delete it. You can add a new testimonial, put the person's name and their message, and whether or not this particular testimonial should be published. You would save and then click on Done. Local weather. This is configured from your address settings within your site profile. You're not able to edit this particular section, but if you do not want it within this menu, you can remove it. Local airlines. Here are a list of the current airlines on your website. To add more, you click on Edit, and you can unclick any of the ones that you don't want or add any that you would like. Click on Save Airlines. As we scroll down, there are two sections on 365 days of healing and 52 weeks of support, these grief apps. You can remove these from your home page by simply clicking on remove on either one. The calls to action, click on edit. All of the calls to action that are currently visible on your home page are listed up here. If you decide that you do not want one on your home page, you simply move it into the bar below and click Save Calls to Action. The three calls to action that remained in that top bar are the only ones that are now visible. The Social Media section, click on Edit. To remove any one of these, you move it to the lower bar. To add any of them, you move them up to the top bar. You can contact your success coach to have any of the social media links implemented into your website. Once you've made any changes, you click on Save Social Links. The Associations part of your home page, click on Edit. The ones that are currently visible on your website are listed up at the top. To remove any one of those, you simply click and move down below. To add a new one up to the top, you drag and drop it. You click on Save Associations and your changes will be made.